a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca back with another, not another vlog. Another little like weekend vlog. Hey. <laughs> How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for tuning in, watching, supporting. I'm actually about to go run some errands, get my day started. But before I do that, I do want to shout out today's sponsor, which is Care Of. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. Let's get into it a little bit if you guys aren't already hip. But if you've been here for a while, then you're definitely hip to Care Of. So Care Of is a vitamin subscription service that makes it super easy to stick to your vitamin routine. It makes it super easy because everything just comes in this box here, pull it out. You have one pack a day and it's filled with all of your vitamins in it. So if you leave it on your kitchen counter or a drawer that you open every morning, it'll make it really hard to forget to take your vitamins. Also their free app comes with reminders and it also rewards you when you're being consistent with taking your vitamins. So that's also a plus. I just love how easy it is to personalize. So I recently had to go on and retake the quiz because my needs when I first started taking care of are a little different now. So I just go on and retake the quiz and they sent me out some new uh, vitamins. So what I have now is a prebiotic plus for gut and immune health, which I love. I've been loving that. A multivitamin to cover any nutrient gaps in my current diet. Rhodiola for stress and mood. They also sent me over a sleep blend, which has been amazing. Y'all know how much I really love my sleep. So any nights I'm tossing and turning, having a hard time falling asleep, their sleep blend has put me out like a baby. And gut check, which are on the go probiotics for digestion. Y'all know how gut health <laughs> means to me because no one wants to be not being able to digest food, being bloated, being gassy. That is top three worst feelings. Like I just really, something about that I can't stand. So my vitamins and everything else they sent me over have been really keeping me regular and I absolutely love the new vitamins they sent. So you guys know, if you guys have been here, I'm a complete advocate for care of. Take your vitamins, it's very important. Make it a routine, make it a habit. Take care of quiz to find out what is recommended for you and you can use my code for 50% off of your first order. Go ahead and take mine while I'm sitting here with you guys. Just put some water. I take two at a time, I'm a baby. I ain't no way I can take four vitamins or can I? Or can I? Don't be a punk. I need it. Okay, so now I have some running around to do and I'm gonna come, I'm not gonna take you guys with me because it's boring running around, but I'll be back because I gotta get ready for later. We're gonna go on date night. I wanna try a new spot. It's called Snap Thai, Snap Thai Fish House. That's like a weird name. But y'all know I love Thai food. So a new Thai spot in Atlanta. Either that or Poor Calvin's, I've heard that was really good. That's not a new restaurant that's been here for years. So maybe I'm like draw out of a hat because honestly I cannot figure out, I cannot figure out which one I'd rather go to. But that's a little later, so we'll figure that out when we get back from doing boring stuff. Okay, so we're back from a long day of doing boring adult stuff. So now it is day, no wait, day, night. So we were gonna go to Snapfish Shy, but I'm gonna just hold off on that. Maybe I'll go with like friends or even by myself. You guys know I like solo dates. We're gonna go to Pork Calvin's because I heard it was really good. I heard it was really good. Those reviews, 4.6 stars. Oh, I'm there. So we're gonna try it out and then I think we're gonna go out to the club a little later, so. That's an update on that.
first off, I think we went to dinner and then out. Or Calvin's, if you're in the Atlanta area, first of all, this fire, everything we had, I can honestly say it was like a 10 out of 10. Hi, good morning. It was a 10 out of 10. So if you're in the Atlanta area, we had like crab wontons, lobster fried rice, um, the lamb chops. Oh my God, he's a lot this morning. But we're actually taking Teddy to get groomed. We're about to go get groomed. Don't you know the only lady I can find was an hour away? We tried to take him like to PetSmart Petco. They won't take him until he can get his uh, rabies shots. And the other three places I called weren't taking new clients. I'm like, who knew it was gonna be hard to find a groomer and we have to take him an hour away. So that's what we're headed to do this morning. Cause he needs to be cut. His nails are getting long, teeth cleaned, all that good stuff. So that's the update. We're about to head out to Buford, Georgia now. Stop, cause Teddy looks so freaking cute. They made him look like a little lion. He's so fluffy. And she said he did a good job. Well, he didn't like his ears being plucked. He really didn't like the blow dryer. And y'all was like in the last vlog, like, girl, why you didn't blow dry him? He literally hates the blow dryer. And she said it. I'm about to have to get back there with him. Yeah, that's what I said. I don't know why you acting like Let me like just skip back there. Oh my God. Excuse me. Can I slip back in here? Okay, I had to get in the back seat because he don't like being alone. But yeah, he got his nails clipped. She said he did good for that. He doesn't like getting this stuff out of his eyes. But she said it's like a learning progress. It's like a learning process. So hopefully next time he'll be a little more comfortable. Overall, he did good though. He did oh, he threw up in the car. He got car sick and threw up everywhere on our way here. Girl, it was real nasty because you know dogs try to like eat their throw up after they and they try to throw up. So he gets car sick. So he has to let his food digest before he gets in the car. My poor baby has actually had such a long day. I forgot I scheduled his groom and he has to get his shots today so we're at the vet he's so tired and all he wants to do is go home and eat and take a nap because you know he threw up earlier so i know it ain't nothing on his stomach oh my baby and he hears all the other dogs in the back crying i know he's worried teddy oh teddy bear it'll be okay baby it'll be quick babes okay like you promised mom i'm ready to go home Oh, he's so cute. I don't know if I told y'all, one of my friends, Ro, actually put me on to Banfield because they have like a puppy, a puppy wellness plan. We just pay like $80 a month and it pays for all his shots, his checkups, um, and like his neuter when he gets neutered at like six months. So. He's so tired. Going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I was tripping all by. Used to sleep at your crib. Should drive out right where you lived and pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I can still get you wet and I can still make you laugh. You should call in to work if that ain't too much to ask. I could pour you up a drink and we could burn some. Come through. I'm not gonna hold you. Today has been a long day. My day started at seven to take him to the groomers an hour away, to the vet, to the grocery store. And I still think I have time to squeeze in a gym session. It is, it's seven o'clock. I think I still wanna go to the gym, y'all. I don't know, y'all. What do you think? Should I just chill for the rest of the night? I don't feel great if I go to the gym. <clears throat> Oh, no. Sweet love. Hope y'all enjoyed.
enjoy that little montage. It's uh, the next few days here. Why did y'all tell me I was gonna be going through dog food like no tomorrow? I feel like this is like his fifth bag of dog food. And he's still a puppy. I might have to start ordering off Amazon and get like a 50 pound bag. Cause these little, what pound is this? This little 15 pound bag is just not, it's not, it's not getting it. I got a comment on my last vlog talking about how the food could go bad if you don't keep it in the original um, packaging, but I feel like there's no way it's gonna go bad because it's only in here for like a short amount of time before he gobbles it all up. Okay, y'all, so I have been influenced. So I seen these yogurt bars on the clock app and I have everything to make them except for parchment paper but I don't feel like you need parchment paper to make them like, well, I don't have it, so. Um, it calls for any type of fruit you want, so I'm just gonna use strawberries. I sent my boyfriend to go do the produce shopping, and look what he came home with. I'm sorry, but I don't ever get big ass fruit. Big fruit like this scares the shit out of me. Cause why is the banana Why is this banana so big? It just gives me GMO vibes, so I don't like big fruit. So I'm gonna use a banana, strawberries, granola, and then I have this silk um, vanilla yogurt that I'm gonna use. This is actually one of my favorites, it's so good. It's just like a parfait bowl, but it's gonna be a frozen yogurt bar. That's gonna be a good little snack, and it's super easy to put together. So let me cut up the fruit. And it's good, I gotta use this fruit because it's low-key going bad. Like the bananas are mad ripe. They have a few days left in them. The strawberries are on their last leg. They're on their last leg, so. Let me taste these. Strawberries are a bit sour. I haven't gotten any Good strawberries lately. Cause I feel like they're not in season yet. Aren't strawberries like a, um, a summer fruit, strawberries? If y'all don't know me, that is my favorite combination. Anything with banana, strawberry, and peanut butter is going to make me so happy. Really? Now this wasn't in the recipe, but it's giving that I should drizzle some almond butter or peanut butter on top of it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna melt the peanut butter and then I'm gonna drizzle it over the top. Oh, that's gonna be fire. That's gonna be fire. We're still on our health journey. <laughs> Girl, fuck that journey. No, 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 don't fuck the journey. But <laughs> you know what I'm gonna have to start doing, y'all? And I didn't wanna, I told myself, and I told y'all at the beginning of this whole shebang that I was not gonna count calories. Well, the joke's on you, you being me, because if you wanna get to a certain weight, I'm sorry, y'all, and you're trying to do it like strategically and do it and not take six months to a year like I'm gonna take, you have, to count, you have to count your calories because I'm not losing weight at the rate that I want to, but I guarantee you it's because I'm consuming more calories than I think I am. I don't eat that much, I eat like two meals a day. Um, but it'd be like the sauces and the oils. I stopped cooking with um, butter and oil and started just cooking with like the vegetable spray and stuff because it's a lot less caloric, but the salad dressings and the barbecues and the ranches is really what's gonna um, pack on those extra calories. So starting tomorrow, I'm gonna try to track my calories for the entire day and just see what I'm consuming because I might be a little surprised, like, oh shit. Anyway, back to the yogurt bars. I just had the give that news to y'all. Cause I was like, I don't know why I was so against it. Like, I'm not counting calories, no fuck that. Okay, there's something up with this banana. It's too big. Girl, that banana is 
too big. All right, so we cut up these strawberries and bananas. Okay, we have a plate of goodness. And then we're just gonna drop this in there. I bet this been in here for a while. I bet you this expired. That's if used by April 21st. But it's no milk in it, so it should be good, right? Tastes good to me. I'm using it. I'm just gonna line. Like I guess I do not have parchment paper, but I think because I'm putting it in this aluminum foil, that it'll be good, so. So now we're just gonna place, I feel like I actually cut up too much. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Granola. The peanut butter. It's just like when I make my smoothie bowls. I put the same exact things. Sometimes I add some chia flax seed to it for digestion. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We're just gonna pop it in the freezer and in a few hours, maybe like five hours, I'll take it out and then we'll taste it. I'm watching Judge Judy. That's how y'all know I don't got no shows right now. I have no shows. But this is what I made in the meantime, just a little rice cake with peanut butter, leftover peanut butter from what I just made and some banana. While I'm waiting for my yogurt bars to freeze, I can give y'all an update on my car. Y'all thought it was so, I was reading through y'all comments, really cracking up, because y'all thought it was so funny that I took a plunger to my car, but y'all know me, like, y'all know I'm gonna try something. So I ordered, and I already tried this out and it didn't work, so I'm just giving y'all the update. I ordered these off of Amazon. They're supposed to be literally four car dents, but when I tried them out, they was a bunch of bullshit. This, like you stick them on your car and then you pull and they're supposed to pop out like some people's work, but my car was laughing at these. Like my car was like, yeah, right. So that was that. Honestly, I can send these back because they really did not work. It was really such a joke. I was so upset, but um, I'm just gonna have to call <laughs> the insurance. And there was also some people saying, let me take y'all with me downstairs. Cause I don't think y'all realize that I be trying ever like, I edit a lot of stuff out. So I try a lot of stuff off camera. Oh, I left my motherfucking garage door open. Just wide open girl. Oh yeah. Oh, I left my keys upstairs. Teddy, can you go get my keys for me? Don't you wish you could send your dogs to go get stuff for you? <laughs> like you follow me everywhere, but you can't go get nothing for me if I need it. Ugh, having all these damn stairs. Cause a lot of y'all were telling me like, girl, like open your trunk and kick out the dent from the inside. Let me show y'all the inside of my trunk. Cause that's very just, I mean, of course I thought of that, but like this is the inside of my trunk. Like it's a whole piece here before it gets to the outside. So pushing it out from the inside is simply just not an option. And then someone else was like, obviously it's not sticking because the car isn't dry. Okay, sis. <laughs> the car is dry and it's still not sticking at all. Cause like sometimes I know it can be frustrating like watching me do something, but you like swear you have the answer. But I swear like a lot of y'all do have good answers and like good recommendations, but some of y'all be like, mean and i'm like i tried that already and it's not working like i literally tried everything so i just wanted to give y'all an update because y'all thought it was so funny but i'm gonna just have to um yeah get insurance to take care of my baby i couldn't be more happy right now y'all so today is the first day of beyonce's tour renaissance and she's in stockholm and all the girlies in stockholm are posting okay so if you're going to see beyonce skip and you don't want to see it but like look it's so good you can't think like me bitch how contradicted eating she's so that's what you are. 
kicking vintage crystals off the bar in category bad bitch. I'm the. <laughs> So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour or two. I'm scrolling. I'm watching the Beyonce concert. I'm trying to stop playing with me. I don't want to see nothing else. This is what it's telling. I don't want to see nothing else. There we go. Oh my god, she looks so good. Ooh, this is break my soul. Look at their uniforms for break my soul. Oh shoot. Oh my god, they look so good. <laughs> and their seats are amazing too. Come on, B. Ah, it feels like I'm there, y'all. <laughs> Teddy, aren't you excited? Teddy, aren't you excited? Yes! <laughs> He's like, this is good. <laughs> I'm okay, baby. I'm just excited. Oh, why you turn my phone off? Teddy likes it. Yeah, I know you like it. I'm telling everybody, everybody. So they've been in there for a few hours. Healthy, Vontae. Look what they look like. Yogurt bars, healthy. Like ice cream. <laughs> Babe, I know you like ice cream, but we're trying to change our ways. He is making it so freaking hard, y'all. I can buy one ice cream. Yogurt. I'm eating a good dessert, but I got that. You just want to taste it? What was, it? what was in the freezer? I don't know how you going to eat that. I'm about to break it out. Take some pictures for the thumbnail. Uh, why did they tell me to put it in the goddamn freezer then? Maybe not for that long. You gotta let it go. Why would they tell me to put it in the freezer? If it's gonna be un. I'm gonna break up. I think I made it too thick. Next time, if it's good, I'm gonna make a thinner layer of yogurt. I feel like I just need to refrigerate them because I don't like this frozen consistency. Come here. Why would you eat a cookie when I'm about to give you? He went in the closet and got himself a chocolate chip cookie. That's frozen, babe. Just taste it, man. I guess I got ice before now. Never mind. Yeah, that's okay. I'll update tomorrow because I'm not. Right now. Free throws, unnecessary fouling, let the game stop. Y'all will not even believe how freaking horrible these came out. Like, I am so disappointed. Okay, so this is what happened. I put them in the freezer. When I went to cut them up, they literally tasted like ice cubes. I was like, okay, they're too frozen. Like, they taste like water. It was really nasty. So then I switched it from the freezer to the refrigerator, and then they completely melted and turned into like soggy because it's yogurt at the end of the day, girl. Like, it's gonna turn back into yogurt. So this is what happened. Like, it just all looks like shit now. It was not tasty. I wasted all this granola. So that was a complete fail. I think my problem was I used that um, non-dairy yogurt. I feel like a lot of people are actually using Greek yogurt, like a thicker yogurt, so that when it freezes, so that when it freezes, it actually is kind of thick. And then I put too much yogurt in. I don't know if I'll even try to do those again because I got a bad taste in my mouth. But I'm about to heat up some lunch now. We made peppers last night and I already went to the gym. So I gotta see what I'm getting into today. So I was out and about doing a little shopping earlier and I stopped by the hair store because I had the good idea to try to give myself some individual lashes 
You guys know I've been on a lash break. Um, I miss my girl so much. I think it's been like two months now and I love my face without lashes. I like how natural I've been looking lately. And my natural lashes are, um, I've been using a serum on them so they've been growing in pretty good. I just like them, but I was just missing my actual lashes in the thing about um, the strip lashes, they just have not been, they have not been hitting for me. So I was like, okay, I've seen a few people do these and they actually look really good. And it says that they're supposed to last up to two weeks. I don't know about all that, but I wanna go ahead and try them out. So these are from Kiss, the Lash Couture. It comes with 40 clusters, semi-permanent adhesive. Oh, there's a black adhesive and a white adhesive. I don't know which one's better. And then it comes with tweezers and, oh, there's like, okay, so hopefully these end up looking good. They're short and then medium. So I'm going to put the medium on the outside and the short in the, in the inside of my eyes. And then there's somewhere to put the glue. So I'll just dip them in here. It should be very simple. Oh, that's super easy. Takes it off. Why the fuck did it come off? Okay, we got our first one on. This is gonna take longer than I expected. I'm not gonna hold you, because there's a lot of little lashes here. Okay, I'm liking this, y'all. It feels like one of them things, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do this in like 20 minutes. But let me not talk too soon. See? Because, I mean, it is a, it's a learning curve to it. This is how the ends look so far. It's like once you set it on there, don't touch the glue. Okay, so I added a few more. This is the update. And I'll be back when I'm all done with this eye. Okay, so we've got one full eye done. I'm not gonna hold you, this kinda eats. Like, this kinda looks very good. Okay, let's do the next eye and then see the finished product. Because I'm liking this. Oh, this looks good, this looks cute. Okay. Okay, so we're all done. This is the final. I think it looks so cute. I think it looks so cute and it only took me literally 15 minutes to do this eye. And like once you get better, like I'm sure it'll be way quicker. And the good thing about them, I'm, we'll see how long they last. They say on the package that it's gonna last two weeks. I can tell you right now, it's probably not gonna last two days. Cause what just, <clears throat> exactly. But I wasn't looking for them to stay mad long anyway or else I would've just got my lash extensions back but like a quick little i'm going out i want to wear something that looks a little more natural than strips and strips just give me a headache i think they're so cute we'll literally see how long these last y'all i'll give y'all an update but they look cute and they were super easy to do so if i could do them i know y'all could do them and for the grand finale let's make some mocktails you guys when i was doing my um cocktail fuck is that? Did he pee on my curtains? Yes, he absolutely peed on my curtains. When you realize your dog has peed on your fucking curtains? He peed on my curtains? I'm really bothered now. Because my curtains are white. You guys want to see real quick? Like, he peed on all my fucking curtains. Like, how? why would you even pee on these? Like, why are they yellow? You see how they're yellow at the bottom when did you pee on these <sighs> maybe i need an actual cocktail and not a mocktail okay 
but anyway what was i saying um when i was doing my like holiday cocktails a lot of you guys were in the comments like can you make some mocktails for you guys who don't drink so i thought i would try out a mocktail this week and i asked my instagram um what what their favorite mocktails were y'all gave me a lot a lot of people thought i was pregnant <laughs> no i'm not pregnant i just want to switch it up and some and some people don't drink so i'm gonna be making a spicy margarita So we have agave, we got some tangin. I know it's pronounced tahin. It's just, it's just a little jokey joke. It calls for an orange, jalapenos, limes, ice, that's it. So let's see. And after that failed recipe, y'all, we gotta get it together. Those yogurt bars were not a go. So we're gonna make a drink. Can never go wrong with a drink. Okay, we have the tahini rim. We'll set that to the side. Okay, so I cut up some limes for garnish and I seen some people actually air fry them for that dehydrated look. I don't know how long to put them in here for, but we're gonna try it out. And air fry it. Or, I don't know. Not 15 minutes. Five minutes? All right. So it calls for 1.5 ounces of orange juice. I hope I can get that out of one orange. I only got one orange, girl. Yeah, this will definitely get me 1.5. Perfect, it's actually more like two. Oh, freshly squeezed orange juice, honey. One lime. I finally got one of these little squeezers from Target. I need the juice of one lime. Ooh, damn, this is not easy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. No way. Oh, there we go. I had too big of a piece in there. Okay. One ounce of agave, which is the sweetener. And then it says jalapenos to taste. So I'm not a, a crazy spicy girl. I'm not a spice girl, okay? So I will use two jalapenos. Am I supposed to add the seeds in there? Like two little slices? Are the seeds supposed to go in there? The jalapenos just a little bit. Okay, muddle. Shake it up. Good shake. Okay. This is always the hard part. This is why I could never be a bartender. We're gonna do ice. Maybe I should do two balls of ice. Ew. Then as soon as I get this off, we can party. Supposed to add club soda. So club soda. Don't you know he peed on the curtains? Oh, yeah. Yes. Have to, go to, wash them. have to wash the curtains. I don't know. I just noticed it today. But he's always over there because he likes that vent. 
and then you garnish with a dehydrated, it turned out pretty dehydrated in the air fryer. Cute. Okay, let me show you guys. A spicy mocktail. Very cute. Now let's taste it. This is good. This is nice and refreshing. First of all, this big ass straw does not go in here. Nice and refreshing. I thought the jalapenos, the amount that I used was gonna be too much, but it's not. I will say, if there was a little bit of tequila in here, it would be like top notch 10 out of 10. But for a mocktail, this is absolutely amazing. If you like spicier, drink something with a little kick, the fresh orange juice and lime juice. Oh baby, this is good. See, at least we didn't go zero for two. Bonte, come taste this spicy mocktail. It's not really that spicy though. It's really not. Don't you just make you mad when people don't want to like try your new concoctions? Oh baby, I'm out here, bro. Oh baby, I'm out here. Hey. So I'm gonna leave this recipe down below for y'all for the mocktail girlies and also give me some more um, recommendations for mocktails. Okay, I'll see y'all in my next vlog. See y'all in my next.